In just three days, the Kansas City Public School District will lose its accreditation. The question remains, will students notice any major changes when they go back to school on Monday? Sloan Heller joins us live from school board headquarters with those answers. Hey, Sloan. Good morning, Zhao Zhao. You know, students and their parents likely won't notice any changes come Monday, even though, again, uh, it is the day after the district loses accreditation. Uh, the main reason behind that is we are still waiting for a decision as to who should actually control run this district. Uh, if you remember earlier this month, uh, the state education commissioner, Nick Castro, was in Branson. We were all expecting, I was out here talking that very morning, saying we should get a rec uh, recommendation today as to what should happen with this district. But at the end of the day, the commissioner basically said, I need a stronger consensus from the community before I make any sort of recommendation. So for now, what is going on? There are several options on the table. First of all, a mayoral takeover. So in other words, Kansas City Mayor Sly James could potentially take over the district. That's one option. Option number two, the school board would continue to run the district. Option number three, the state could take over. Now remember, the law says the state is supposed to wait two years after losing accreditation, but there has been talk and there's been talk for months to speed up that process. Meantime, parents, local lawmakers weighing in. I think people just more than anything want accountability, and I think that's where this plan comes into play. The, the process that's in place for the legislators to try to uh, fashion a remedy um, to allow the Castro and her and the commission to do what needs to be done is very wise. Now, there's really no telling when we are going to see a change of hands, if we ever see a change of hands here at the Kansas City Public School District. Uh, again, any sort of change has to go through the le uh, legislature, and it could be a couple of months, it could be spring, before we see anything happen in a major way with this district. We're live downtown this morning. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News Today.